Howdy folks, we are at Murder Table Studio B on the other side of town with our fine host, the Alemonger, Limp D, and yours truly, Gilo. Hello, Alemonger. Pleasure to be part of this wonderful and, and serene gathering. It is. It's very quiet, it's very peaceful, and we're hitting your sweet spot. As a, a, former, a former resident and having had the experience of seeing the actual green flash, on the beaches of California. I am too excited. Too excited? Can you to contain yourself? These open. You're not going to go into accents, are you? See what? I don't. I don't are you going to speak do gibberish? It. No, uh, you don't do accents. You're talking about the other L monger. Oh, the other L monger. That's the I'm one sorry. with the capital M in the middle of the name. Oh, L monger. Monger. Emphasis on the monger. Exactly. I got you. I got you. So we've got three beers from Green Flash. We've got the classic West Coast IPA, the Soul Style IPA. And the tropical hazy DNA, is that what it's called? DNA? DNA. I think the order of the tasting, we're going to do all three. We're going to do the West Coast first, the Soul Style second, and the tropical DNA third. Let's move on to the first round, the West Coast IPA. I'm going to pause right here, get us all set, and then we'll restart. We're all set for round one, the West Coast IPA. Limp D, so care to have, tell us a bit about we this? We have an IPA, which is an India Pale Ale. I read that. I wasn't sure what that meant. That's well, not from India. And it's uh, seven percent ABV and ninety-five on the bitterness units. Ninety-five on the IBUs. So it's, it's not uh, it's not overly bitter, but it's not too bad. And their note says, as craft beer pioneers, they defined uh, they're defined by brewing the benchmark West Coast IPA, putting Green Flash on the map. Made with five different hops for complex layers of pine, floral, and ripe citrus aromas. Mm. Good comment, Mr. Elmonger. Very, uh, very intrigued. This was one of my first um, short list favorites of West Coast IPAs. You know, I first discovered the IPA way back in like 2010, maybe? No, very little earlier. And it was all thanks to you. You were the, you are our beer guru. That's unfortunate. If you will. Sir, Cheers. On camera. Cheers. Cheers. Salud. And uh, can we say welcome to back the, to Green Flash? To the, to the rising of the Green Flash. Normally it's, it's setting. Like set. it's setting. So this is a reverse. It's okay. The rise of the Green Flash over okay. the east, over the Atlantic. It's, it smells very familiar. Spectacular. Get all that pine, resin. Get all that. Pine, floral, really well balanced. I always get apricot. Did my mind more so than apricot. It's because of that stroke. Well, and I also like it. <laughs> I also I also smell them all the time. Do you? I'm drinking. Are they burning, burning apricots? I'm not really sure. Not, not to be confused with the plumicot. Plumicot. This is really they they did they did a wonderful. It should be a wonderful. Beer. It was a great recipe when it came out. It's still a beautiful beer. This takes me back to the you know the the early days of boozedancing.com. With you know Green Flash and Ballast Point Sculpin, many different varieties. It's not, as, it's not as bold as a Sculpin, but it's not supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is really the classic West Coast floral IPA. It's so West. Hot it's floral. such a classic West Coast IPA that they called it West Coast IPA. Needed no additional adornment. Nope. Nope. It, it Nor is. did it need any of the fruit salad additions that so many IPAs now have. And I, I, I find this to be very, very approachable. It's not all one note IPA. It's not a hop dare. It's not one of those things that no, not at all. you kind of regret right. opening. It's just, it's drinkable. Yeah. It's, it's really good. Really dry really finish. Good. I don't recall really the good. finish being quite as dry. Now, it may be that I haven't had it in so many years, so I just don't remember it, but mm -hmm. nice, dry, quick finish. It's a classic beer. Mm -hmm. It's a go to. No reason why this beer didn't continue to sell, at least not, not, not the quality of the beer. It's delicious. No, I think it's just, you know, it's like anything else. Everybody wants something new. And there is the ADHD of the craft beer community where it's, oh, what's the next big thing that comes out? So, and I'm guilty of that. I mean, I, I rarely buy a full six pack or a case of beer. I'm always buying a mixed six to try something new. And I believe you have said when I've ordered the same beer twice at a bar, the That's word, a violation. See? <laughs> it see? Is, that is about when you are out sampling, if you are on a research session, you're on safari. Technically, they're all research sessions, aren't they? They're all research By sessions, definition. but a safari session. A safari <laughs> A.K.A. out at a craft beer bar. Oh, I like this so much. We're requires, requires a sampling 
of many different animals. So on safari, you don't shoot the same animal twice. You do not shoot the same animal you, twice. There's no sport you, in that. Exactly. Right. There's plenty of sport in in you know trying to trying to take out an unarmed animal. Generally. And by shoot, but, we mean with a with a camera, because shooting them that's just wrong. Yeah, I agree. Messy. <laughs> also, <messy. laughs> do we gotta call the wolf? Right. <laughs> And the, and the thing with the wolf, there's only one wolf. So if true. someone calls him first, <laughs> then you're right. Then you might be stuck with the fox. I you think the you're be a smart guy, but not as not as good. No, no. It's you'll be S O L. Well, I don't need to explain. And the that fantastic is. Mr. Fox, he is not the wolf. No, he's not. No, he's not. So anyway, as we sum up, this is a spectacular beer. Now, as far as West Coast, I'm just beer. You like the West Coast better than a. New England IPA? Then well, I, I, let, me, let me... Not not better, just different? My heart belongs to Main Beer Company and all their lovely beers because I just have fond memories of going up there all the time every summer. But, that being said, this, I would never pass one up. Great beer. Plus, it's, it's not Canadian, like, you know, when you go to no, Main Beer it's not Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> no, but you know what it might be? Mexican. Because that's pretty close <laughs> to the Mexican border. So, I think what we're getting at here is we're men of extremes. We like the farthest point north on the East Coast and the farthest point south on the west coast, if you think about it. Not the farthest point north, but pretty close. Very close. Pretty close. So anyway, all right, let's move on to round two. We're going to take a little break. Round two, Soul Style IPA by the fine folks at Green Flash of San Diego, California. So this what do we got there, sir? a little less than the west coast IPA, 6.5% instead of 7. Mm. The international... Bitterness units are 75 instead of 95, so it's a little more mild, I suppose. The brewer is rip-creating some of the finest IPAs in the lineup. Soul Style breaks gently on the palate with waves of bright citrus and floral hop flavors. Are there amber waves of grain? From layers of citrus, Simcoe, and Cascade hops. Cascade. Cascade. A cascade of flavors. Cascade. Yeah, boy. You keep talking. Let's just hope your pour is a little better than the last one. Oh, hey, how's it going? You got a lot to say, buddy. You got a lot to say. How much talking? Is that a little better? I don't know. Nice glass, by the way, Mr. Elmont. At least I could do is bring out, bring out matching glasses. Some that, travels that, that don't match the beer itself. That's right. But they're from a the West Coast. But they're from yet another extreme, the most northern northwestern extreme of the U.S. See, see what are we talking about? Yet again. See. It's all about the extremes. Not likely to find anything from Iowa. You know what we need now? Tonight. We need something from Key West. Yeah, the southernmost point range. Oh, uh, yeah? What do you got? What do you got? You got a little rum? There's probably some crumbs for you. Key lime pie. I've <laughs> been hiding in the, <laughs> the key lime the pie that's for laying somewhere. All right. All right, gentlemen. Number Salute. Two. Soul Style IPA. Do we got some James Brown? Soul Brother number one. No, we may have some George Clinton. George Kidd. Parliament. Funkadelic. I was going to say Funkadelic, right? This beer is not Funkadelic. It's very subdued. Very subdued. Very subdued on the nose. A little bit of soap. Soap? That soap. might be the soap. I just washed out the glass. Maybe just be a little about. lemon zest. This is more, so, yeah, it's more like a, more of a lemony, yeah. more chill. lighter. Not terribly carbonated? No, this is very okay. cool, like, creamy. Light. Yeah. Very smooth, creamy, very soft carbonation. Very different from the other one, I think. Yeah. It is. And, and it, 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 it might be more of a... A mildly hoppy pale, oh. more so than even an IPA. Yeah. Definitely not what you'd expect from a traditional West Coast profile brewer. West Coast. Still very good beer. That's very nice. <clears throat> but I remember when this one came out, um, which was probably two, three years before they um, pulled out of the market, with, withdrew their distribution from the area. I, I liked it, but thought it was it was a little too much of a departure from the traditional West Coast. Though. A little too mellow for you? Or a little too mellow for a West Coast? For a West Coast. But then again, you, know, you have to hit all the, all the taste preferences down there too. So it's a good beer. I mean, I'll, I'll, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't turn this down. No, this but is nice. It's, it's not. So do you think that's the, the nature of the blend of hops? That it's not as bitter, so it doesn't have as big a profile? Right, so they're, well, the Cascade. The so it right? It's also, the, the Cascade is a very popular Pacific Northwest hop um, tends to be a little more balanced. The hop content is definitely lower overall, 
Yeah, but again, like you said, a good bit of citrus. It's not, yeah. not yeah. lemony per se, the but there is yeah, that's what I'm thinking. like I'm a, not like a, up like a zest. grapefruit West right. Coast citrus. Right. This is right. a, this is a lighter citrus, right. but still a very nice, dry, clean finish. But let's get let's just remember that, although it may taste like it's still only half percent off the other one. Yeah. So it's not. I mean, I don't know. Sessions are relative term, I guess. Depends on who you talk to. For us, this right. may be a session beer. No, this is a session beer. If it you is. talk to our boy Lou, you know, you're yes. talking 4%. Or if you talk to the English, it would have been a 4 This is not a session beer. No, <laughs> but it, it goes down very, very easy. It goes down too fast. No, this is really nice. And the finish is pretty It's pretty crisp. No. Yeah. It's pretty crisp. There's a little bit of lemony bite maybe on the back end, but not anything like, you know, offensive or no, abrasive no. by any, by any no. stretch. I agree with you. It's, it's almost not an IPA. Yeah, really, especially yeah. when you're talking about West Coast. West Coast to me has always been bigger, bolder, yeah. you know, floral, citrusy IPA, you know, to, to, uh, unabashed. Does this, your dog drink beer? <laughs> that is no. Not, that is not my dog. Bot hip <laughs> <laughs> uh, Not a West Coast hop bib. No. No, no, not at all. Not at all. So, I like it. It's very different from the other one. It's very, it's much more easy drinking. So anyhow, we like it. It's again, a, a, a departure from the other beer. Now we're gonna try beer number three, which is a tropical DNA. Tropical DNA, a hazy IPA. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Interesting. Yaman, round Jaman. three. Yaman. Oh. Did you make the jerk chicken for dinner? Yaman. Noman. Noman. You got some scotch bonnets? No, mama, everything I eat with the beers. Everything I You know, we ain't got no jerk chicken. We ain't got no scotch bonnets, but you know what we got? We got a green flash tropical DNA. Tell us about it, Lipty. It's a hazy IPA. It's a hazy 7% IPA. similar to the West Coast. It does not give an indication of the bitterness units. Lucky number seven. The brewing beer is in our genes. Tropical DNA features a complex, lush fruitiness with a bright hoppy finish. This hazy IPA is brimming with tropical citrus aromas that transport your taste buds to paradise. I just got one sip question. after sip. I have one question. Wow. Who you calling a lush? Wow. Pal. Wow. Palsy. Uh, it says lush tastes. Oh, lush tastes. Well, oh, that's, a, you, that's, well, that's a great, that's a great that's pour. Mine. It's there's another good another, pour. Yeah, there's that's another mine. top okay. nine pour there. That's a great pour. Maybe you should stop the round two. Do so you shake these bottles up before we open them? I'm going to shake you up if I, if, I, if I have the strength. Let's see if the third time Three times. Let's see over and under on, on, the, uh, on the head being thicker. Once, yeah. twice, three times a lady. No performance anxiety. Is that better? Is that better? It's, uh, it's Yo, whiny little bastards. That's 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 so Jesus. nice. Number three Jesus. looks good. You could have that. I'm going to say... Oh, uh, I got the pretty one. So you're the host. You're the host? With the most, I am. I'm. I'm. Honored. What? What? Um, and I'm. And I'm the VUP. <laughs> yeah, you're VUP. All right. What does that stand for? Very I'm important, important person. person. Yeah. I'm the VUP. <laughs> okay. All right. What? Ah. Salute. Salute. Come on. Frothy, frothy, frothy. Ocean's thirteen. So Not this. A uh, yeah, it was good. So this is very hazy. This is a little bit of opacity. Is that a opacity. word? Opacity. Is that a word? It sure is. Opa wow. Opaqueness? Look, look at you. Wow. I got a 490 on English on my SAT. And it just, it just and it shows. Uh, on a scale of what? Well, give it <laughs> 2,000. So not as hazy as a New England IPA. No, no. it's not like this. Like that's idea. not what it is. No. Yeah. But it is hazy. Definitely hazy. Not super hazy. Yeah, I would just. It's, uh, a it's cloudy. unfiltered. It's really an unfiltered. Not like getting a lot on the nose either. No, I don't know. It's getting a little more tropical. Yeah, it's a little um, more tropical. I think they. I think it's living up to its name. A little pineapple, maybe. A little mango. Force in the pineapple. Papaya. I don't know. Force in the pineapple. Is, what does it say about the? Uh, or, or as I like to say, papaya. 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 Your papaya. Passion fruit. I'm just gonna throw stuff out there to you. Just keep you, yuzu. Can you just keep throwing yuzu. fruit out there. No, no, no yuzu. No yuzu. Yuzu's kind of lemon, isn't it? Yuzu. It yuzu's is. a little tart. tart. Yeah. Yuzu. No, definitely not tart. Dragon fruit? Could be. Star fruit? Oh, wait, wait, what's that other one? What's the smelly one? Oh, the... With a D, right? The, uh, the, the, the durian. Uh, durian. The durian. Durian. No, it's not durian. Definitely not a durian. No, not it's like right one That's day what a we're year waiting for. We're waiting for the durian IPA. I think we'll pass. This has uh, the you know IPA. No, 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 wait. wait. 
Durian Farmhouse Ale. I think will probably be a little more appropriate. Outhouse. Oh. Durian Outhouse Ale. I'm not sure about that. I'm not, uh, I'm not a part of that one, no. I discovered that the uh, the IBUs on this are forty, so oh, it's so really, really low. Let's, really take, let's take a guess. Let's take a guess at the hops. Uh, Motueka. Motueka. Motueka hop. Oh, I don't know. I'm the wrong guy for that. Something in the New Zealand variety. I'm going in taste wise. It's a good. It's just, that's nice. It's different. It's it's brighter. It's also two. a little. It's it, the mouth feel is a, a little creamier. This one was this one was pretty creamy. Or actually it was very soft carbonation. This was a little fizzy too. It's it a little bit fizz. Uh, mildly sweeter finish, a little bit longer finish. And I'm finding that it's the Citra, Mosaic, and Simcoe's. No one No one uh, And it's using a Brux Brew Yeast. Wait, what's it called? A Brux Brew Yeast? B R U X Brux. Would that be maybe brew? like Brussels, like a Belgian brew yeast? Get the Belgian, 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 Belgian traditional Belgian, Belgian, like the clove, the Belgian the, notes, and the coriander, it's and all. Lupulin powder. Lupulin. Lupulin. That is. Lupulin. Is that like? Yeah, I like took the words right out of my mouth. brought from Lupuland or 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 Lupins. Lupins. Blumens. This is very different from the other two. This was the your classic abrasive, not abrasive, but aggressive West Coast hop. This was your chill, chill beer. This one kind of goes in between somewhere. I like it. All Sorry. winners. There's really, there's no, there's nothing to Winners are ever, right? Green Flash, just top notch brewer. You know, what's what's the best beer? The one in your glass. Well, well unless it's a Schaefer well, or a Schlitz. Schaefer or is the all time best old beer. Old <laughs> Why? Schaefer is the one beer to have when you're having, when you're having more than one. one. If you're having one beer, for the love of God, don't drink this. But if you're looking to get Schnockers, the, by all means, the, get a session, suitcase. The session beer brewers figured out. That, 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 that wasn't such a bad line after all. So. No, it wasn't. Because yeah. you could sell a lot more beer. Right. And you're not getting a discount in sessions. Maybe a little bit. But, yeah, this is really good. I like this. This is very nice also. So, anyway, final thoughts? Final thoughts. Um, We're going to wrap this up. Um, thrilled to have had a few Green Flash beers. Was Brings always, back memories. Always a fan. And uh, hope that this is not a unique experience. Thanks to the brewers sending them out. Yep, I agree. Love to see them again on the shelves. Um, they deserve they deserve shelf space. Great beer. Honestly, I mean, if you go back to the blog, I think I've reviewed probably at least a dozen of these things. And whether it's the IPAs or the double stout or the La Freak, delicious La Freak, La Freak, well, all of, of those, yeah. all really good beers. I can't say I really had a bad. I, I've never had a bad beer from Green Flash. So hopefully they'll uh, come back to our shores, back to the Eastern Seaboard. Cheers. Thank you, Green Flash. Thank you, Evan Monger, for hosting. Thank you, Liv B, for something. I don't know what, but thank you anyway. Grumpy. I, I finished my beer. Hey! <laughs> beer. Beer. Salud. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>